All right. Here we are, another full moon. It is rising in the sky now. The colors are amazing. We we're just talking about how the sun was beautiful and the moon is rising. And it really is that like contrast because where do we get the light of the moon, right? It's from the projection of the sun onto the moon. So it's that beautiful balance of the yin and the yang. So it is pretty powerful. As I was mentioning, I was wiped out today. I was really wiped out. I was kind of surprised because I'll wake up and feeling really empowered and really good. I was like, all right, go, go, go today. And got a few things on my to-do list done, but I actually just went with it and zoned right out. And I'm really glad I did because it is a good way to really honor what is going on with the moon right now. What is going on really so much too with the cosmos. I know on the podcast, I talked about really just the Aquarius sun sign and Leo moon mostly and really impasse on the full moon, but there are a lot of transits going on. All the planets are going direct. Everything is shifting around. And there's a lot, a lot of, um, with Uranus and Pluto and Saturn's moving and Venus even coming in this week. So really, what does that mean? It means that there's a lot of opportunity to make changes. There's a lot of opportunity to get out of the old structures. And when we work with this kind of energy, it does make it easier versus fighting and fighting and being up against resistance. And it's just like, take a little step, change a little bit, notice what is coming forward for you. And Leo is courage. That's how I see it. It's like, it's like the strength card in the tarot deck. It's that energy of the heart. Let me have a little courage. Let me stand in my truth a little bit more. And so it does allow you to really look deeper, to really open up to the full light, right? That full moon, that full light of who, who you are. And then of course, being an Aquarius, that's a collective. That's like revolution, evolution, break it up. I was listening to Kepacha. If you ever listened to Kepacha, he's pretty funny. He, um, his astrology report was like, anything can happen. Anything at all can happen. And I mean, you know what, when we listen to the news, we see it, we see what's going on in Washington. We see like that big old balloon. They ended up shooting down. Like, what is all this going on? What is going on? And so it's a reflection too, for your own self. What's going on within me? Where am I struggling? Where can I stand forward? Where can I embrace that part deep within my heart to really be in the truth of who I am and what I'm doing? All right, we resist a lot of times, we get comfortable, human nature. Oh no, this is okay, I'm doing okay. But yet, when we just make that little change and that little shift, we start to pick up so much more information. So when we have these cycles, right? We have 13 full moons every year. Where can you use this for your highest good? Where can you just shift a little bit, look deeper within your soul and ask these questions? And that really is what is going on right now for all of us to ask the bigger questions, to look at the bigger pictures and not to, not to be afraid to roar. So the energy of Leo, as I've been talking about lately, comes right in at the solar plexus, right? The solar plexus is our third chakra. So many times as empaths, and I would say most of us here are empathic, you know, we feel things, we take things in. It's really noticing like, where are you losing power right here in your solar plexus? You know, so we've been doing a little bit of the meditations with our hands on the solar plexus and so I just offer like feel into that area for you. And when you feel a little bit of the resistance, it's like exhale out through the air, through that area, just pushing whatever it is out. And you can even say, I want to release and whatever that is for you and just push it out. And then as you take that inhale, breathe it into the heart, breathe it there and just hold that like, I can, I am, I will, whatever that is for you. And then exhale out fear, stress, judgment, whatever that is for you as well. And this is going to help you really feel into the area and really protect into that solar plexus energy. So notice what you notice as we move through the meditation. I will offer the cards and see what the cards have to say for us as well. And then what we want to do, we're going to charge our crystals. So whether or not you've already put them into the water, I put them in the water and figured, oh, I should have waited, but they're already in the water. So you can go ahead and as we move through the meditations, hold them, put them around you, and then we're gonna just charge them in the bowl of water. All right, I'll send Reiki out as well. You are all Reiki tuned, so you can do that. And if you're listening later, you can do the same. And then this is like, go ahead and like put them in the window, put them outside, put them somewhere where you feel the moon can really get to that energy. And all of this vibration as you're bringing these thoughts forward can come into this and really kind of help you to hold that vibration. As you move through the rest part of this cycle and the rest are part of this energy of the month, let this thing like download, little downloads keep coming in. Oh yeah, aha moments, look to your dreams for some of the answers. 
And it's okay if you don't have all the answers right now, but allow this vibration of energy to just stream into your consciousness. When we know, when we don't try so hard and we get into that flow and we open up to the visions and dreams, that's really where it does happen. That ease and effortlessness. All right. So find your fire, find your lighter. I just have this big one. If you have one and go ahead and call in that element of fire for your passion, your heart, your spirit. Can light the candle begin to notice the smoke and call in the element of air breathing clearing the mind clearing the space call in the element of water right into the very center honoring the water that you've brought in as well tonight just breathing it calling it in breathing into it and then taking all this energy and just calling in the element of earth, centering, grounding, noticing where you are right now. As we begin to activate the breath, inhale, expanding through the belly, opening up the breath all the way up the body. And as you exhale, just pull that breath in, pull that energy all the way down. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body, and exhale, pull the energy in as you call in your energy, call in your spirit. As you do, feel that presence coming in for you, aligning right on top of the physical body. Inhale, taking another deep inhale. And exhale. Coming into the heart, in the very deepest part of your heart. Feel that connection that you have with your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved and supported, feeling all this energy coming in around you tonight. Inhaling and exhaling, calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels for joy and love, calling in the crystal beings for protection and magnification, calling in your own spirit guides to bring you these messages. Let them surround us to guide us, protect us as we open up to the fullness of this light. Taking a moment, noticing where you are in this great wheel, this great circle of energy. Here we are in the season of winter. Dreams and visions. The energy of our families, our ancestors. Where can you shift? Where can you grow? Where are you in your own truth? These are the questions we ask right now. Very soon that new season of spring will be upon us. And as we start to really find our ways deep within, we'll start to open up. What are those dreams for you? Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale, just breathing all this energy into the heart. What are your intentions under this full moon? Thinking back to where you were at the new moon just a few weeks ago, what did you set as your intentions? Maybe you remember them, maybe you don't, that is okay. What do you want to open up in that highest of light for you? What is this path? What is unfolding? Feel those vibrations, those elevated emotions, the joy, the peace, the love, the abundance, freedom. And just let that radiate out all around you, expanding through the breath as you expand it through the aura. Let it expand up through that vertical light as well. Just let it breathe all around, setting that vibration of energy. Inhaling and exhaling. So first we'll look at the cards and then we'll charge the crystals in water. The first card for the question that I want to ask is what is blocking you from being in your truth? 
being in your purpose, being on your path. That could be many things for each of you. The card that comes up is the five of fire. So this is what I'm getting really is kind of like that idea like change. Oh, I don't want to change or change is hard or change is raw, change is vulnerable. All right, in here we see it. It's almost like a little bit of chaos. And that is true. When we do go through change, it does feel raw. It does feel vulnerable. But don't fear it. Don't not change because of this. Do you want to find your true happiness? Your true path? It does mean many times like getting out of the comfort zone. Or would you rather be in the comfort zone? No judgment. There's nothing wrong with either one. What is it for you though? For some of us, you know, being where they are and being in a time of peace and happiness, that is awesome. And then there are others. I know like for me, like I'm still like, I wanna get a little further on my path. I wanna open up a little deeper, but that's my choice. What is it for you? And where does this five of change, five of fire, where does that hit for you? Is that stopping you, blocking you from embracing your own path, your own soul's work? Take a moment and let the energy come in for you. Make a note in your journal, breathe. Sending a little energy out there. Sometimes we can feel a little shooken up with the full moon. All of this light coming in. Sometimes we feel a little flutter in that navel center and that third chakra. That's a power, not a fear. That's another way to look at it. Inhaling and exhaling. So the next question is what can help you to embrace this cosmic force of energy in the collective for where we are, for this evolution of energy? The card that comes up is another fire card. It's the eight of fire. So to embrace it, it's talking about like, okay, lining things up, just keep setting up your path. Eight is abundance, fire is passion and desire. So as you're lining things up, be alert, be ready. There will be a portal opening. It's kind of like I was saying before, like anything could happen. So when we're ready, when we're perched, we can move and open up that portal. Sometimes I hear people go, oh, I just, I can't get it, I don't know. But it's like, no, wait a minute, you do. You may not have all the answers, but you have some of the answers. So bring some of those answers and let them line up so that portal will open and you will be ready. Line it up. Don't let yourself stay in that state of confusion just because a few details are missing. All right, I kind of speak for that and myself as well. I don't have all the answers, but let me just start to get ready. Line it up, move forward, bring the passion forward. Follow the intuitive guidance that just came in big. Even when it doesn't make sense, like sometimes those signs and symbols like what, I don't get it. And then later you do line them up, get ready. What does that mean for you? Take a breath, notice. Breathe. Make some notes, words, pictures. Just feeling that light of the moon above your head, bringing all this beautiful reflection into you.
The next question is, how can you take that next step? What will help you to take that next step? So the seven of earth comes up. This is like in the physical world of earth and what we're doing. And this card is interesting because it tells you, it allows you to take that reflection, to look at all that's growing. And then let me go in and see things in a different way, that third eye energy. What is working, what isn't? When we take that reflection, we have those moments, it does guide you to what that next step is. But I love this because even though it's earth, which is our physical world, it's actually referring to like that inner seeing. Are you doing your work just to do your work? Are you happy with what's going on? Are you following the guidance of your inner self? for the work, for the physical world. So to take that next step, if we go back to the question, to take that next step, it's like, let the third eye guide you. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. But when you get into that energy, it's kind of like when we call in ourselves and call in that higher guidance, we feel that subtleness coming in and we feel that alignment of energy we take the step and sometimes it may feel no reason, no rhyme, but it feels good. That's what can help right now. Inner knowing, inner guidance. You know, some of that collective energy right now, because the Aquarius energy is about like, okay, the masses, the evolution. And sometimes that means you standing outside of what's going on so that you know your truth. And then that truth, you're coming back in to help with compassion for the world. So it's not just the Leo roar, do it for me, but it's how can that Leo roar come back in and help the community, the consciousness all around us, the collective. So take a deep breath. And now whatever comes in, just notice, just ask, whatever the message is, bring it down, bring it through. You may have to come back and think more on it later, but just make a few notes, write down a few words. Maybe it's an impression of what you see, what you feel, what you know to be true for you. What you hear. And now as we're in all of this beautiful energy, just still keep it all very close to you. Take your bowl of water. All right, if you can, bowl of water in one hand, maybe you'll grab up your crystals and go ahead and place them in the crystals, in the water. And then just holding both hands around that bowl of water, those intentions you are setting, that highest of light right now, the moon is at its highest right now. And just allow all of this energy to move into those crystals. As you do, releasing out whatever was in there, so making room for the new space. And then we're just going to charge that vibration for you. Just sending that out to gray, show gray, show gray, one of the symbols we use in Reiki. And just holding it in your hand and let your whole presence of energy, your whole body, spirit, mind, emotions, come right into this bowl of water. Close the eyes. Let that vibration from your heart under this beautiful light of the moon, just let it radiate all through the water. Water will magnify this energy. It will cleanse and magnify the crystals. The crystals will help to magnify your energy as you move through this month. Now returning to that intention, that highest vibration for you. How do you want to feel as this comes in for you? With all of this water and the magnification of these beautiful crystals, how do you want to feel? Not what do you want to get or what do you want to choose? How do you want to feel?
and allow that frequency to fine tune with you, your frequency. From the heart, the heart is our greatest magnifier. Taking a deep inhale. And exhale, just releasing it all out around you, just setting that energy all around you, magnifying it out. Perhaps taking a few more moments as we go to close, or taking a few more moments, writing any more notes, thoughts, visions, dreams. And then take your bowl with crystals, placing it somewhere by your bed, in a window, outside, wherever, wherever it is for you. The moon vibration, it comes down, so it doesn't have to be in direct light, but it is fun when it can be. And then we just take a moment as we go to close, offering gratitude. Gratitude to your spirit. Gratitude to the greater spirit. Gratitude to all your beautiful intentions under the light of this moon. Gratitude to the cosmos. Keep us spinning. Inhaling. And exhaling. Sending that breath all the way down deep into the earth. Taking the hands now, just placing them right on your heart, just offering that love to yourself. Inhaling. Exhaling right out of the solar plexus. Having the awareness of your power, your truth. To your spirit, happy full moon. Have a great night. Love you guys.